Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we're going to be talking about how many Chiefs games Taylor Swift will be able to attend next football season, Sophie Turner's gratitude towards Taylor Swift last year, and a few more details about Taylor and Travis's romantic little vacation on Lake Como. Okay, let's start out with Taylor Swift returning to her WAG era next season because the NFL has officially released the 2024 schedule. We now officially know when the Chiefs will be playing, who they'll be playing, and where they will be playing. I'm sure many people have seen on social media all of the different teams announcing their new upcoming schedule in very creative ways. Props go to the Chargers for their Sims-inspired schedule release, which was incredibly funny. And even though they took some shots at the Chiefs, I have to respect it. It was well-deserved. It was very funny. If you haven't seen the Chargers release schedule video, go and watch it. Have to give credit where credit is due. Um, But we now know which games Taylor will be able to make and which ones she won't be able to make given her schedule in the fall. So we know Taylor is on tour in Europe up until August. She then has a little bit of a break before she then resumes her North America shows in Miami, Indianapolis, um, New Orleans, I believe. She goes to Canada. So she's got a pretty jam-packed fall, early winter um, with her touring. But as it turns out, Taylor will only be missing, will only have to miss three games. If she wants, obviously she may not go to all of the away games or even all the home games, even the ones she can go to. She may have other obligations, other things that she has to do, but comparing her touring schedule and the Chiefs schedule, they only overlap three times. So I'm not going to go through the entire schedule, but here are the games that Taylor will not be able to go to. So uh, October 20th, that's week seven, the Chiefs play the San Francisco 49ers in San Francisco, I believe. Um, And that game, Taylor cannot go to. We then play, and I say we, I'm a Chiefs fan. (laughs) The Chiefs play October 27th, so the following week against the Raiders. Taylor Swift cannot go to that game either. So those are back-to-back weeks in which Taylor Swift is unable to make those games. Uh, And then the final game that she won't be able to make, week 14, it's a Sunday night football uh, game against the LA Chargers December 8th. So just three times, two back-to-back in October, once in December. But other than that, she will be able to make these games. The Chiefs, the first game of the season for the Chiefs, September 5th against the Baltimore Ravens should be a great matchup, should be a great game. She should be in attendance for that one. The following week, the Chiefs play the Bengals. She should be able to go to that one. So it's good to know that Taylor will be able to go to as many games or most of the games um, that she wants to go to should she decide to attend. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but I really miss the Taylor Swift watching the football, watching the Chiefs era. It was just so fun. I don't know. I mean, I'm already a big football fan in general. I'm already a big Chiefs fan in general. So I was already super excited to watch football. But then just the added layer of Taylor Swift being in attendance, figuring out what she was going to wear and finding that out who she was sitting with, her just interactions with people. I don't know. It was just like, it was very, very fun. Um, And maybe it won't be quite as fun this season because it won't feel as new and fresh um, as it did last year for sure. But I can't wait for it. I'm very excited. And honestly, September, and it's early September. I mean, that's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty early start date. Um, so it'll be here before we even know it. Very exciting. There was also some reporting that I saw on social media about how the NFL was paying attention to Taylor Swift's touring schedule when figuring out the NFL schedule. And a lot of people ran with that thinking that the NFL wanted to make sure that Taylor Swift could go and attend as many games as possible. So they were reworking, um, the schedule in order to make sure that Taylor could go to as many games. That's not true, people. That is not true. The reason that the NFL paid attention to Taylor Swift's touring schedule is because Taylor Swift is touring in NFL stadiums 
in the fall. She will be in the Miami Dolphins stadium. She will be in the Indianapolis Colts stadium. She will be in the New Orleans Saints stadium. So they had to adjust those teams' home games to accommodate the fact that Taylor Swift has concerts during that during that time. Okay. So we need to not believe everything that we read on the internet and take everything as fact. And we can dig a little bit deeper to understand maybe why the NFL paid attention to her touring schedule. And it's not because they care. Of course, of course it helps them for her to attend Chiefs games, but like they're not, that's not their biggest concern. They have a lot of other things to worry about. Um, and ultimately what they care about is making sure that uh, everything is balanced and looks good and that they don't overlap scheduling with a concert that's already planned. So just wanted to clear that up. Okay, let's move on to our next piece of news, which is um, Sophie Turner opening up about Taylor Swift loaning Sophie and her kids her home in New York during a rough period of their life. So I'm sure many of us remember or um, uh, know about how Taylor gave Sophie her, I think she has like an extra apartment in New York City while Sophie was getting divorced from Joe Jonas. Sophie and Joe announced their divorce, I believe like early September um, of last year. And Sophie opened up about this experience. Um, Sophie said that she was looking for a place to stay in New York for her and her two daughters. And she actually just reached out to Taylor just to see if Taylor knew of any places that were renting where she could get a place on a short notice. And Taylor, rather than, you know, directing Sophie to go rent some other random apartment said, why don't you just stay in this place that I'm not staying in? You guys can have it stay as long as you want, which was so nice. And this is what Sophie said about the situation. Taylor was an absolute hero to me this year. I've never been more grateful to anyone than I am for her because she took my children and me and provided us with a home and a safe space. She really has a heart of gold, which It is so nice of Taylor to just, I mean, this is what I feel like if I was rich and I was a billionaire and I had all this money and I had all this real estate and places that like homes across the world and just all this access to stuff. I feel like the best part about it would be the ability to help out my friends and family and to share all this stuff that I have with other people. And I feel like Taylor, she just has this extra place. Of course, I mean, I shouldn't say of course, because there's lots of people who wouldn't do that. But it it's no skin off her back to let Sophie and her kids stay in this place. Um, but it means so much to Sophie. So I just love that. And I just love the friendship between Sophie Turner and Taylor Swift. Obviously, Swifties know, like Taylor Swift used to date Joe Jonas back in the day. Um, and Taylor and Joe, they were fine. They became friends again. I don't think there's any bad blood there, but um, Sophie's always been a Swifty. She's always supported Taylor Swift. We we saw Taylor and Sophie going out to dinner back in the fall during this divorce, which was, it was a messy divorce, honestly, for Sophie and for Joe. And I think just like having Taylor's support not only meant a lot to Sophie just personally, but I think publicly having Taylor on her side was like a big deal as well. So love that. Love their friendship. Um, and maybe we'll see Sophie at some Eras tours. Eras tour shows this summer in Europe. Okay, here are some more details about Taylor and Travis's romantic Lake Como vacation. We talked yesterday about where they were staying, which um, is this beautiful like villa hotel in or on Lake Como. Well, apparently this villa um, has six separate suites. It sleeps up to 12 people. And as I said yesterday, it goes for about $21,000 per night, which is crazy. They stayed for three nights. So that makes sense. Probably like, well, I guess we don't know officially, but I would guess Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night is when they stayed there. Um, The amenities at this villa include a private pool, gardens, a butler, housekeepers, a chambermaid, a private chef, like the works. And I feel like whenever Taylor and Travis go on vacation, they just have the most lavish, luxurious. It just sounds top tier. And I just, can they just invite me on one of their vacations? I won't bother them. I won't do anything. I'll just be off to the side, (laughs) but I would like to experience that stuff. I think that would be very fun. So anyway, 
I'm glad that they had a good time. Um, and as I mentioned on yesterday's show, I'm just excited to see what other places they end up going to over the summer and where they venture off to because they're having, they're going to have a fun European summer. Okay. Final little piece of, I, not even news, but stuff I want to go over is we today, the, the start of the Sweden shows of the Eras tour. Uh, I would love to know if you guys have any predictions as to what surprise songs she might sing over the course of this weekend. There's nothing that obviously Paris was like an obvious choice for when she was in Paris. She doesn't have a song called Sweden. So there's no super obvious song choices for the weekend. For whatever reason, I just feel like she's going to play the bolter as one of her secrets or one of her surprise songs, um, one of the nights. So if she does, I just, just know that I said it here first. Um, but I would love to know, share in the comments what songs you think that she's going to perform as her surprise songs. I always love seeing the predictions. And then obviously on Monday, we can recap and see which one she did do and break down the era's tour a little bit more. So that's that for today's show. As always, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you love Taylor Swift, please subscribe. It would mean so much to us. Uh, follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.